Hi and welcome to the video. As you might have already seen by the surroundings, I'm currently not in Switzerland or anywhere in Europe, but in Costa Rica. And I've been wanting to go to Costa Rica for such a long time, mainly because of the diversity of colorful bird species, but also mammals and reptiles and so on. So I left Zurich yesterday in the morning, I arrived in San Jose, I took a rental car and drove to the first stop. And this morning I first went to the forest and it's here a bit higher, it's at 1400 meters above sea level I think. And it was a really incredible mood, it was clear skies, but it was quite moist. So when the first sunlight hit the forest, everything was shining and glowing and I almost wanted to change over to take some landscape shots or some detailed shots. But I tried to take some bird pictures, uh, I got some, not a lot, and afterwards I went back to the lodge and I tried to take some pictures of the hummingbirds there. I would say the conditions were not ideal, it was not meant for photography, they had some uh, hummingbird feeders, but it was more set up to observe. What does this mean? Well, often the background was quite close, so um, it was possible if you knew what you were doing, but it was a bit harder, for example, to get flight shots. And I started by using the 600mm f4, but I felt like I was not flexible enough. Sometimes I wanted or I needed to move a bit more to the left, to the right, up and down, just to get a different background. Because to make things worse, the sun was also starting to shine. And then, yeah, I tried to have the hummingbirds in the shade, but the contrast to the sunny background was too much. So I really needed to find a good background. And then this afternoon, I came to a different location where they have feeders that are more meant for bird photography actually um, and here the background is a bit farther away and this was very nice because it also allows me to close down the aperture a bit more and that's quite important because otherwise the hummingbirds are so small if we go with a 600 millimeter f4 from let's say five meter distance and we shoot at f4 only a fraction of the animal will actually be sharp in the end and I wanted to have most of the hummingbird sharp so usually i actually ended up to stopping down something between 5.6 and sometimes f8 it really depended on how far the background was away and how structured i wanted it to have and hummingbirds actually only occur in america like north america central america and south america there are quite similar looking species that also feed on the nectar of flowers in other continents for example um, in africa or in australia indonesia so those species look similar than hummingbirds just because they basically have the same ecological niche. They also have these long beaks to get the nectar from the flowers, but they come from completely different genus or even families. And this phenomenon is called convergent evolution and it can also be seen in plants, for example succulents, where you have different families depending on which continent you are. So for the photography of the hummingbirds, here at this place I switched back to my 600mm f4, but again I step, stepped down to like 5.6 to like 6.3, so you could also do it with a much cheaper 150 to 600mm lens or something like that. So when I was shooting for a longer period, I usually used my tripod just because handhelding gets a bit tiring. On the other hand, I also like the flexibility of handhelding, so sometimes I'm just taking the camera out of the tripod again and shoot like this. 
Nowadays the image stabilizers are so good that image blur is often not a big problem anymore and I actually used some longer shutter speed on purpose when there was some rain because then you can really visualize the rain in the picture especially if you have a bit of darker background you see these long streaks in the background. If you want to learn more tips and tricks about bird photography please check out my ebook I put a link in the video description. Another important thing if you take pictures of hummingbirds is that their feathers, the look of the feathers, the colors changes a lot depending on how they uh, arrange themselves according to the light source. So really stay basically alert all the time and as soon as they change a bit, take some more pictures because they might look much better. That's it for today. As I said, it was just my first day here in Costa Rica. I can't wait what else is to come. Probably there will be another video coming as well. So maybe subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.